So I made some updates to the supplier page products extractor, which is a Google Sheet that I created to automatically extract product data from a website. Right now it works with Zorro.com, but I'm also adding other suppliers. So if you're watching this in the future, there may be other suppliers that can extract uh, that it can extract from as well. And ideally, you're going to take this product data and use it with the supplier to Amazon matcher which takes products from a supplier and automatically finds those products on Amazon and then allows you to calculate the profit, which I've demonstrated in other videos. But right now I'm going to jump into what I've done with this uh, particular tool. And the first thing is you need to get to a actual page with products on that page. So for instance, if I were on uh, this page and I were to click rent into wrenches under the tools in machine category and if I get a product with a page, uh, if I get a page with products on it, then that's a page that I can use, right? So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and copy the URL from this page and simply drop it where it says product page URL in this box. Just paste that in there. And now uh, this currently extracting, this is left over from the last run that I did. I'll just delete that. And um, there are a few things you can do here. Now, for one, you can just go ahead and start extracting the product data. Right? That is the main thing that you're going to do. Uh, the page navigation, I'll show you what that's for in a moment. But basically, the first thing is to actually extract the data. The currently extracting page will report the number of the page that it's extracting. Right now, it's extracting page one. And so it's just going to extract the products, the first products that are on the page. And when you scroll down, you notice that there are other page, there are more pages. You have 277 pages. That is why uh, knowing what page we're looking at is important because there's so many. So right now we're on page one. Okay, and so it should extract that product data. Now, oh, there you go. Yeah. Right now it says that it's extracting page two. And what happens is that one update I made if you were using this before, is that it automatically changes this URL to the next page. So before it was extracting two, but it, the URL didn't change here. Um, and actually, it wasn't really perfect. Uh, the URLs that it was creating were not really completely correct. So now the URLs are exactly correct. Um, no matter what is inside of this URL to start off, the URL, the page query, as, I, as it's called, is uh, always correct. All right, so now it's extracting page two. Now, as you can see, when it extracts page two, it also gives you the URL and then it says two. Okay, page number one, you don't see the one because actually um, in the actual URL, there is no page query on the first page of a, so it just comes out blank. But I, um, I'm considering to reprogram it that it will by default just give you a one here just so we know that it's page one so I'll do that um, and you'll see that uh, most likely when you get your when you get your copy that should be something that's been done um, already so you should have page one show up for the first page and right now it's extracting page three and so on and so forth right now it will run I'm gonna actually cancel it, but it will keep going and it started to do four but I just stopped it uh, I'm gonna actually delete those just to pretend that they never happened so that you'll see it as is all right uh, so that was page three and um, uh, well let's see well okay it's fine actually because the current you the current URL has already been moved to four okay so that's fine right but what I want you to see is that you can move the pages with these buttons so I can go back if I wanted to do the previous page again for some reason page 3 I can change this to 3 you see it says page equal 3 here if you want to go to the next page 4 and if you want to go to 5 you can go to 5 so you can move the URLs through the different pages and what it's really doing essentially is changing the pages if you were changing the page here right to page 2 or page 3 right you see that same URL how it becomes page equal 2 so this is doing that now, um, another thing you can do is you can jump to a page. Let's say for some reason you wanted to go straight to page 100. Well, you can put go to page and then put 100 in here and then click the go to page button. 
and it will immediately go to page 100. You can see here, this is always going to tell you what page you're on right now with the URL. So it's telling you page 100, all right, is the page that you're at right now. Okay, so uh, this is to set the page, and this is to tell you the page that you're on. And this is just to tell you which page the program is pulling the data from right now. So if I start um, exporting, for some reason I want to skip to page 100, I can go ahead and click Extract Product Data. And when I click Extract Product Data, you see it says currently extract in page 100. Right, so it has, it has skipped to page 100, and now we'll extract product data from that page. All right, and we'll just wait, and eventually that data will start to come out. But I do want you to see the results, so I'm going to wait. And it takes time because what it has to do is go to that page and actually take all of the web page data off of that page. Uh, well, not all of the web page data, but it has to look for certain web page data, which are really the product IDs from Zorro. And then it's got to visit all those products, and it's got to get the, the, uh, the data from those products, right? So that takes some time for it to do. And so that's what it does. And there we have it. All right, that's all the data for page 100. All right. And again, I'm just going to, well, now it's doing page 101. I was going to cancel, but, you know, I'll let it go ahead and do page 101. So you can see how it works. See, this changes to 101 automatically. It's letting you know that we're on 101, and this is letting you know that it's extracting 101 right now. And then you can just wait for that. Um, and then when it's done, I think I'll just cancel that point. Now, well, let me just, uh, instead of just sitting here waiting, let me talk about getting the product data. Uh, and I may, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. Let me talk about getting the product data into uh, this system, which is going to do the automatic matching. And this video is not about this system. It's about this. But the whole point of this, of, get, taking, of doing this, of extracting the product data, is so that I can use it in this system, right? So that you can use it in this system. Now, there is a Chrome extension that, I've been using to pull the data and that Chrome extension will basically do what this is doing but it's not gonna do it in this format that I'm doing it in alright um, and it doesn't I don't I'm not sure it even gives I believe it will give you the model number yeah brand uh, don't think it gets the product IDs uh, but they're just certain things that I this get, gets you to a URL and it gets you the page number um, it's also kind of convenient because it's immediately going to Google Sheets instead of you having to then download it on the Chrome extension. You then have to download it to CSV and import it. With this, you're immediately getting it into a Google Sheet, and it looks just a lot neater. And so what you can do, then uh, you could actually copy and paste this. You don't really have to do any import. Control-Shift-Down is a quick way to highlight the whole table. So like you can just highlight these up here. Uh, if you want, actually, you can take everything. Um, control shift down, take all that stuff, copy it, go to the supplier Amazon Master System. Then you're going to go to the IDS CSV. Make sure it's clear. If it's not, you can clear it. There's a clear button. And um, you can just import it this way. Pay special values only. If, if you've used the system, you already know what I'm doing. If you haven't, you might not. If you haven't, then you may, perhaps I have a link or something you can check. Where you you know you can take your time learn the system. I'm just this is just a quick uh, demo of how to get the data in here, and then um, actually I have I also am doing a more updated another updated version of this system, and I'm gonna have a combs map. But we can create a map for this. I'm gonna call it product extractor, and when you get the the latest update, should have the map in there, and this will be an easy map to do because the names are so similar. So it's gonna be if, if I have product title here then you can just put product title here. All right, if I have URL over here, you can just, and that's like supplier URL, you can just copy it, put it under URLs, and then if I have prices dollars, which is really just going to be price, you can just copy price, and then if I have brand, and then I have model number, uh, those are literally the same. Um, okay, they haven't, these are literally the same. Is what I have here, and this is just 
it's just telling it to, uh, how to connect these columns to these columns. All right, so brand to brands, model number goes to model product title is going to go to titles, prices to prices, URL to URLs. Okay, just so that everything is going to go where it needs to go. And so once you have that columns map, and just right click if these buttons, Google moves buttons around, unfortunately. In Excel, they stay in place. On Google Sheets, they don't, unfortunately, but hopefully they'll fix that eventually. Um, but product extractor is going to be the name of the map. And now you should just be able to import the instant data scraper. Uh, it, it's technically not an instant data scraper CSV because I didn't use instant data scraper. But instant data scraper is what I usually use, so that's why it's called that. First time you use this, though, you do have to uh, verify it uh, or not verify, uh, authorize it to run. And Google tries to scare you with a few scary messages. Okay, there's nothing to be scared of. You just go ahead and import it. And um, that will bring the data in here. So I found it necessary to do this because this is pretty much the point of extracting the product data. It really is to bring it here. Otherwise, what use would you really have just to look at these these products, right? If you're drop shipping, just looking at them, just having the product data from supplier, it's not really by itself. It's not really so useful. Uh, what is useful is when you can drop it in a system like this. And then you can automatically search for those products at the click of a button with find all Amazon URLs. Uh, the prices will come in last, but um, since we already have the here the prices, since we have the titles, I can click find all Amazon URLs, and it's actually going to find uh, these products on Amazon. Right? Most of them will come out as a match. Some will not, but many of them will. And um, it gives you a score to kind of tell you how well it thinks it might be matched. But that score, it's not very exact. I mean, it's just based on the actual words that are coming up in the URL compared to the title. But, um, you know, it, it just kind of helps to kind of navigate you towards the ones that might have a higher chance of being a match. But many of them will match. Um, most will match if you have a good title. Um you know now one thing this uh, version in this version of 3.1 you do have to combine actually the brands and titles before you start doing this you have to combine the brands and titles in 3.2 which I'm about to release you won't have to combine brands and titles anymore it's gonna automatically search brands and titles together but in this version you're really supposed to combine brands and titles before you do this so, so technically you're supposed to kick click combine brands and titles so that the brand will go into the title and then do the search so it's going to search the brand and the title All right but in 3.2 you won't have to do that 3.2 is automatically going to read the brand and it'll do it in the computer's memory combine brand and titles together and a model number but anyway that is basically the idea um, again this is not a demonstration this video is not a demonstration of this system it was really a demonstration of this but this is used for this, so that's why I'm showing this, uh, the Amazon Matcher, right? So the supplier products extractor, you extract these products data so you can bring it to the supplier Amazon Matcher, all right? And then you can do the comparison to see if it's profitable or not, right? And I have, uh, there's other stuff here where you grab the prices, you do all that, and then uh, it's able to calculate the profit, you can get the fees. Right, but I again that'll be that's in another video and other videos I've made. If you already know the system, you're already using it, then you already know what to do. Um, otherwise, check the description of this video for links, or leave a comment. If I don't leave a link, then just let me know, and I'll put a link to something, or look on my channel. Just look around; it's there. All right. Now, um, that's pretty much it, really, because this is really a very simple system. Um, you just drop the URL; it's going to extract. You never really have to navigate these pages. You don't really have to do previous, next, go to. You don't really have to do all of that. You can just let it run, and it will just keep moving up the pages on its own. When it stops, you will just restart it. Make sure you click where it left off, find that point, restart it, and it will just continue. Uh, actually, I think it automatically finds the bottom. Actually, come to think of it, I think it uses this and goes to the bottom. And you will just continue taking more pages but this is just you know something I thought might be cool to have really previous and next page or could come in handy for some people so it's there 
But that is pretty much it. Um, there's a process, and then when you're done, when you're done with it, you'll just click clear product data to erase everything, right? And that should work as well. And yep, yeah, that clears the product data, and then you'll just start over, and then you replace this URL with another one, and uh, do what you have to do from there, right? And that's pretty much it. All right, and I'll just delete these because I don't need them. And that's pretty much it. So find um, a link in the description of this video for this products extractor. And um, hopefully you find it useful. I am also, I do really want to mention that I am going to add uh, another column. I would like actually to add another column to this, which is uh, for the lead time. As you can see, it tells you how long it takes to ship, right? Zorro does that. They tell you, hey, this item ships in two business business days. This is crucial for Amazon dropshipping. One of the reasons why the supplier is great for Amazon dropshipping, you know, is that you, you know the shipping time and, uh, the, you know, they have uh, easy returns policy, things like that. But you need to know how many business days it's going to take to ship, right, to, put, to, to match what you're doing on your store. So um, this is data. This is data that can be extracted. I've already done it successfully. I just need to uh, integrate it into this system. So um, I'm going to do that as well. So you will have the lead times for all those products. That's going to be amazing because you have products on Zorro that have 15 days lead time, 18. You might not want to sell those. You might not want it to take 18 days to ship to get a tracking number. Right? You have no control when you drop ship over that. So you don't want to do that. There's no way you're going to be able to make it faster. What you want to do is maybe go after the products that have a shorter lead time. Uh, and so those that is something you will be able to do when you use a products extractor, which will be extracting the lead time as well. Um, so go ahead and get a copy. Um, you get all updates pretty much automatically. You get one copy, and then you get the updates to go with it. And as of the date of this video, as of today, it only works with Zorro. Dot com, right? And it's and and this Google Sheet is free, especially since it only works with Zorro and is really, I mean, really, you know, you can do pretty much what the sheet does. You can use uh, the Chrome extension to do it. It's a data scraper, but the difference again is that it goes straight into Google. When you use this, you're going straight into Google Sheets right away. And there's certain pieces of data that I'm working on getting that the Chrome extension might not be getting. Right, but go ahead and get a copy of this. And then if you don't have this system yet, go ahead and get a copy of this system. Okay, the actual supplier to Amazon Matcher, because this is really the main system for actually doing the product research. All right, so go ahead and do that. And um, that's pretty much it. That's the supplier page product extractor version 1.1. And if you are interested in it, you see you know where to find the link in the description of this video. I am Mr. Mark. And this is either Excel for Amazon or Amazon Dropshipping, or possibly even just my general Excel for sellers, which is the general project. And uh, look forward to seeing you around or hearing from you.